When you're finished drawing your character, you trace it with Sharpie. When you're finished tracing your character with Sharpie, then you're ready to go ahead and draw your lines. One thing I want you to remember as you go through this process is that there are no diagonal lines in this picture. The only diagonal lines that you might see are the ones that are part of your character. All of the lines that you are going to draw are going to be vertical or horizontal lines. The easiest way to start this is to line your ruler up somewhere towards the middle of your paper and draw a line straight through from top to bottom. Then turn your ruler and somewhere maybe towards the bottom, go ahead and draw a line that goes all the way side to side. Now, these are the only two lines in your whole picture that are gonna go all the way from one side to the next. The rest of your lines are going to start on an edge or a line and stop on an edge or a line. For my next line, I'm gonna start down here on this line and I'm gonna go up. So I am basically dividing my paper, my entire paper, into different sized squares and rectangles. I want you to remember that you are not creating a checkerboard. Your squares should not be all the same size. Your lines should not be all equidistant. One way that you can do this is to draw part of a line so I'm gonna start over here, draw a line. I'm gonna stop when I get to a line, maybe skip this space, and then continue my line. And then already I have created some different sized squares and rectangles. So you're gonna continue doing this until your paper has all of these different sized squares. Now, um, one common issue that I see with some students is that they're actually trying to draw squares. You're not lining your ruler up and drawing a square. You are creating the squares by your intersect by intersecting your lines. Sometimes I draw part of a line, move it, and then continue the line, and then it helps me to create these different size squares. Now you don't wanna to get to the point where your squares are itty bitty teeny tiny, and you don't wanna to get to the point where your squares are gigantic. So as you're going along, you want to really think about breaking up the individual spaces. In this process, just ignore where your character is. You're drawing straight through your character as if you weren't even there. Straight through his face and all of that. So don't worry about where your character is right now. Try to keep your lines straight up and down. You're not using a T-square, but make sure you're kind of lining your ruler up with the edge of your paper. So that you don't have crooked lines. And that's how you create your lines. Now, obviously I'm going to break up some more of these spaces. This square is way too big. So I'm gonna keep going, but for sake of time management, hopefully you get the idea of how to do this from what I've done so far. Once you finish drawing your lines in pencil, you're gonna go back in and trace them with a Sharpie, or you can go ahead and draw your lines with a Sharpie. That's up to you, whatever you feel most comfortable with. But anywhere you have a pencil line, you're gonna go back in and trace it with a Sharpie. Make sure that you are using a ruler so that your lines are in fact straight. If your lines are not straight, it does not look anywhere near as good. And make sure that you are not pressing down hard with your Sharpie. When you draw with a Sharpie, you really should be holding it back a little ways so that it doesn't press the tip down because once the tip gets pressed down, then that's it. When you're finished tracing with the Sharpie and using the ruler, please make sure you get a paper towel and wipe the edge of the ruler off so that the Sharpie does not get on someone else's materials when they're trying to use them.